Hey, I'm Brian, and I unfortunately don't have a lot of time this winter break to film videos, because there are lots of holidays and I'll be going on vacation tomorrow. So I did ask you on Twitter and in the comments of the videos to give me some questions that I could answer in a Q&A. So without further ado, let's go ahead. New channel name. I think this is actually a good first question to answer, because as some of you might have noticed, I actually recently changed the name of this channel from what it was previously to my own name. And I did it because I would rather be known for my own name than for a name that has no real relation to me. And I did it now rather than later, when I have more subscribers potentially. And with the change of the channel name, I also changed the profile picture and the channel art in order for it to look a little more sophisticated. I'll still keep the underlying branding though, and the Twitter and Instagram accounts will probably still remain under the same handle. But the EBO Gadget's Twitter handle is not what I use primarily, you should still follow my personal Twitter in order to get updates. Which you can do up there. If you could build your dream phone, what would it include? So I could just of course now put all of the things that are possible inside my dream phone, but I actually kind of like to keep it reasonable. And there are three things that I really value in smartphones that I wanted to see for a long time in one phone. And that is stereo speakers, water resistance, and wireless charging. And those three things have never appeared in one smartphone up till this year, actually. And Apple was the first to do it, surprisingly, with the iPhone X, that has all of these three features. But the Samsung Galaxy S9 will probably also be the first smartphone that has those three features on Android next year. So if I could build my dream smartphone, I think it would definitely be one that includes those three things. And maybe this year, now that 18x9 screens are a big trend that I really like, I would also definitely include one of those. Do you use After Effects for your animations? Yes, I do. And I actually do create all of my animations myself. I don't really like using templates, because when I actually watch video tutorials on how to create the animations myself and do it myself, I learn new skills and actually get better at video editing and animation. What's your favorite piece of tech of 2017? So I just touched on smartphones actually having taken a huge advancement this year. I really like the 18x9 screen trend and I think that it's really cool the direction that smartphones have taken this year. But I think that the crown for the award of the best tech thing that I like the most this year has to go to the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo is a company that is very dear to my heart. My first console was a Game Boy Advance. So I really like that they were able to take the step back into the market after the Wii U pretty much failed and everybody thought that Nintendo would fail with it. And I also think that the Nintendo Switch is just a really innovative console in general. With the two controllers that you can use independently so you can do multiplayer on the go, you can use it with a TV and both controllers also work with motion controls. There are lots of playstyles and it's a really fun console. But I don't really want to talk a lot about it in this video, because I w why, what is this doing here? Which video are you the most proud of this year? Well, I could of course name the videos that are the main pushing forces for this channel, the two ones that have over 250,000 views, but I actually don't think that those are the best ones that I've created up to this date. I really like the setup tour that I made, that has some really great shots in it, and it was a lot of work to make, and I still really enjoy the intro sequence to it. And if you haven't seen that, you should definitely check it out up here. Also, I really like the recent review of the Galaxy A5 I did. It has some great animations, I think, and I also put a lot of work into those, and you're hopefully going to see more of those in upcoming reviews. What is the relationship between you and electronic gadgets? Well, I can actually say that if this question came up because the name had gadgets in it before, that was actually just because it sounded better than tech. But my relationship to electronic gadgets in general, I think is more like a perspective of the whole market. I really like to see what these gadgets bring to our society and how we interact with them, rather than just buying them and having fun with them. Which is of course another important part, but I also really like to do these analysis videos, which you probably have seen on my channel. They don't get a lot of views, but I really like doing them and analyzing what impact these things have on the market, on different companies, and so on. So you could say that I'm also interested in the behind the scenes and not just the gadgets themselves. I have a technology account as well. Any tips? 
Well, I wouldn't necessarily call myself an expert on this, as this channel is not that old and it has really only gained momentum within the last six months, but there are definitely some things that I can tell you that could help that I noticed throughout this journey. And the first thing that I'm going to say is don't give up at the beginning. It's really hard to put a lot of time into videos and shooting a lot of them when really nobody watches them and they only get like 50 views in the end. But that's what you have to do in the beginning. Otherwise, you're never going to get a lot of views. You really have to put in a lot of time at the beginning so people will actually find your content and subscribe. Because good content is what makes people subscribe and stick to your channel. But another thing that I noticed that could really help new creators is that you need to add your own twist to your videos. Nobody will click on a video that is titled LG G6 Review three months after the phone is released, especially by a very small creator that doesn't have a lot of views. There are tons of other videos that are titled the same out there, so why should somebody click your video? What I like to do is put a central question that people may have that is relevant at the time in the video title so people will actually click on it if they're interested. That's for example what I did with my LG G6 review. The phone was $400 at the time, which was the same price that OnePlus's phones were last year, but they now raised their prices. So the question was if the LG G6 at that price could be a good replacement for the gap that OnePlus left. And people were interested in that. And this strategy is also what I try to do with the two videos that have over 250,000 views on this channel. The Google Home Mini review worked probably because people were interested in how to use the Google Home Mini in their smart home. And I tried to integrate a lot of more things like that into that video, instead of just making it a normal standard review and also titling it Google Home Mini review, which probably wouldn't have taken off at all. The video on how to make your LG G6 or S8 look like stock Android was something I got very lucky with because it was an idea that I had and there were really no videos similar to it on YouTube. So I typed the keywords into my keyword research tool and there were a lot of people that searched for this but there was really no video showing them how to do it. So it was pretty much obvious to me that when I make that video it will get a lot of views. So just remember these things, don't let yourself be put down by low viewership in the beginning and try to do something that nobody has done in this way before. Then your channel will probably do very well. So that basically wraps up the questions that I picked out for this video. But if you have any other ones, feel free to ask them in the comments down below or on Twitter, I'll be sure to answer them. I also want to take this opportunity to really quickly thank you for the last six months. We're now at 3000 subscribers, which is really cool in this short amount of time, especially because I really didn't know how to make videos before I started this. Starting this YouTube channel was definitely one of the better ideas I had this year. I hope you had a great time. I sure had one and next year is hopefully going to be even better. I've got lots of great stuff planned. But now I'm going to go on a skiing vacation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know which buttons to press. Also press that follow button on Twitter for behind the scenes. I'm Brian, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.